I am so close to finishing Markarth. Just gotta finish Lost to the Ages and go after two Dragon Priests. So let's get on it. An Intu, Rald, Thar. Yeah, Dwarven names are a mystery within itself. But once again, we're in a ruin that's huge. So let's just take a moment to appreciate the Dramoras. And let me see if I have any good loot. Ooh, a consortium key. Don't know what that's for. This, however... Ooh, I found me some treasure. Now that's more like it. I'll take the gold ore. I'll take everything, in fact. Except the elven armor. Don't eat it. And as you can imagine, we're gonna be fighting a lot of dwarven mechanisms and... Falmer. Too many Falmer, actually. Now, to finish this quest, I'm gonna need to find another two Ethereum shards. I got the previous two on the previous one. And then we'll go to the forge. And oh, that button made so much sense, I wasn't really seeing where I should go. I think I remember the way to do this. It's just from right to left. Yes. Ow. Oh no, I gotta be careful. Okay, so that was just... Just had a bit of a time limit. Good. I was starting to think if I had to crouch. By the way, lock picking's coming along nicely. We're down to 97. And I don't have a single perk point in it. And oh, I remember this. Now exactly what I need to do. Just gotta... Clear the cogs from whatever debris is preventing them from doing their job. And then we're gonna have a treat at the end. The warmonger is down. Still gotta take care of a shadow master. Nice. It's a shame, but their loot is always not worthy. And let's just do it. Oh, big fella. Would you like to meet... The Burn Disciples! Yeah, I'm not gonna get anywhere close to that thing. Just look at it. And I'm gonna have to speed up this one, otherwise we'd be here forever. I've said it many times and I'll say it in the future as well. The thing about Legendary Mode is that it's just time consuming. Oh, and overwhelming at first, but then it's just time consuming. Now, I should be really, really close to the third Ethereum shard. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think that's the room. Exactly, so Katria should be here. There she is. Just gonna lend her two pairs of hands in the form of Dromoras. Oh, but it's just some dwarven mechanisms. It's absolutely yeah. chill. That was quite the trek. Uh, for me, you're a ghost. Oh, an emerald. I'll take it. Come on, I think it's over. I have to say, I'm glad that's over. That's what, your third? All right, only one left to go. I'll meet you there. Now there's something really, really good about the fourth piece. It's not in a dungeon. It's in a storeroom near a dungeon. So we're just gonna go into the dwarven storeroom near Mzulft. Give me a hand with this door, would you? I'm pretty sure the Convectors will be for Arniel Gain's quest. And let's get what we came in here for. The last Ethereum shard. There's also some really good loot that I'll show you in a minute. Thanks again for all your help. That's the last one, isn't it? It's... it's almost time. I'll meet you at the forge. This is the whole storeroom, except there's two doors that link this room and the main hall. But long story short, if you'd like a dwarven metal ingot, here are a lot. And it's finally time to find the Ethereum Forge. And oh, to think that I'm gonna have to go through so many locations. I'm going right now just because I didn't pick up Arniel's quest. That's fine, we'll do the college all in a row. You made it. And you brought the shards. Of course I brought the shards. Look at the device here. The gear in the center is just about the right size. Try putting the shards in and we'll see what happens. 
Katria! I can't even take them out of, of my inventory. <laughs> and oh, I love the, the animation that this thing will do. Just gotta step back. I mean, is she not gonna tell me to stand back? Try. But get back. Hurry. Exactly. Yeah. Let's watch it. Oh, Aethys, you were. Wise choice. Wise choice. Just look at that! Whoever came up with this idea, I hope they got a bonus. Into the forge we go. There's not gonna be a single enemy until we get there. But there will be a boss fight. And I do like the idea that after I did several dungeons just for this, now I have a chill place that lights up as I go. And that's unlocked. And I already know what I want to forge with the Ethereum shards. There's only one thing that's truly worth it, and that is the Ethereum crown. It'll let you keep two Standing Stones bonuses. I don't remember from the top of my head what the other two do, but I'll, I'll show it in the video when the time comes. Yeah, let's just activate the defense mechanism. Oh, Katria, your idea was good, but prepare, prepare for battle. Yeah, I should probably prepare the Dromoras, reconjure them again, so they don't... What is it? Oh, finally, finally, I was starting to wonder what was happening. Yeah, just take some time. I just gotta chill. So round one is gonna be Dwarven Spiders. All right, we can Fairly this. easy. Come on. To know if they'll come from the sides. Oh no. Oh, okay. So let's just have the boys do everything for us. That was easy. And it's time for round two. Where a bunch of dwarven spheres will come in and say hi. And they're a little bit pissed. All in all though, very, very doable. <laughs> Especially with this build, you know. Yeah, let's just take care of everyone. Uh, I hope that didn't hit my Dremora. No clue why they sometimes just enjoy to put themselves right in front of me. So just gotta shut off the steam again. Oh, and that guy's just standing and throwing bolts, which is a really bad strategy because then we can just take care of everyone at the same time. And it's now time to meet the Forge Master. Look at it. Behold, in all its glory, it's coming from there. Just give it a minute, yeah? Oh! It's time for a fight. Not only did that thing came from the lava, it spits fire! How cool is that? A lot. But yeah, with the Dromoris keeping it busy and me and Katria and Athis all shooting. I think Athis is shooting. Maybe he's down there, who's to know? But it's done! And Bethesda was kind enough to leave some building materials around. Ooh, a flawless ruby. So, Katria. I almost can't believe it. We did it. We actually did it. There's only one thing left to do. We have to prove this actually works. That this is the real Ethereum Forge. Yeah! Uh, how? By forging something, of course. Go ahead. After everything you've done, you should do the honors. Yeah, but are you seeing any Ethereum you around? Any Ethereum here, is there? Damn it. Wait. Yes. Yes, there is. The shards we collected. They're pure Ethereum, remember? It's not much, but it'll do. With them and the materials in this room, we should have everything we need. Do you think I'll ever find Ethereum again? No, I honestly don't know. After all these years, it's a miracle even this much survived. Make it count. This may be the only chance we ever get to use the forge. She's right, it is. It's the only time we can use the forge, so gotta pick our reward carefully. But like I told you, I know exactly what I want, and I'll be showing you the other two. It'll be 
quite self-explanatory. With the Ethereal Crown equipped, you can have two Standing Stones activated. The shield makes the enemies you bash become ethereal so they can't attack you, or I should say they can't deal or take damage for 15 seconds, and the staff just summons a dwarven spider. Ew. And with that, it's done. No one could possibly deny what we found now. Congratulations, Katria, and thank you for the help. I've waited so long for this moment. We found it at last. And now, I think I can rest. Farewell, my friend, wherever your travels take you. My pleasure. Same thing to you. Oh, I don't have a way to bow down to her in respect just like she did. What I do have, though, is spells and patience. So we're gonna return the beefy boy back to his sea of lava. Go on, Nemo. Swim, buddy. You can do it. Those are amazing visuals. But it's now time to go defeat the first of the two dragon priests of Markarth. And oh, this is something I haven't seen in a while. Draugr outside a ruin. I've been fighting the Forsworn for so long. Oh, and the second one is just a basic guy. He'll be no match at all. Ah, I love the Dramorus. Now into Ragnavald we go. Where something spectacularly stupid will ensue. Oh, we're gonna see a bug that broke. Nothing, but it's it's hilarious. Now, the way this dungeon works is it brings you to a main hall, and then you have a, a coffin at the end. But on either side of the main hall, you have the crypt, where I just came in, and on the other side, the canal. And you gotta retrieve two items, one from each, and you'll have sort of a mini-boss fight on each. So this one is Serex Skull Key. Note the word key, because that's related to the bug that happened. And despite Serex joining the fight, it's really not gonna be any different from any other fight against Draugr. So I'm just gonna get my Dragonbone arrows back and it's time to go back to the main hall and into the canal, where Deathlord met his end. The canal is a bit shorter than the crypt and I didn't find any other death lords along the way. So let's go and fight Torsten. And I now have in my possession the two skull keys that will unlock the coffin with the dragon priest. And once again this fight is no different from fighting several death lords at the same time, even though in here didn't find anyone, maybe Torsten is the strongest one? But other than that, it was quite okay. Flawless Amethyst, I'll take it. Where's Torsten? Oh, there he is. And wow, the only thing worth it in his inventory were the Dragonbone arrows that I fired at him. Whew. And I'm ready, let's go into the main hall. Because I have something to show you. Now, I didn't remember this puzzle, but even I know that this doesn't look right. You know, you know what I mean? It's not supposed to be so curious that the Dragonborn is outside that it gives you a little peek. Now, it's also not supposed for the boss fight to begin by me shouting. I haven't even used the keys. You can see the arrow there. Well, let's see how long it takes me to investigate and realize what I should have done because I was too busy laughing at what happened but yes that's the slot that's the other slot and it has unlocked the unlocked coffin amazing now all i gotta do is provide support to the boys as they take care of otar the mad and there will be a noticeable difference in the time it takes to take that man down versus how long it took to take care of the guardians 
Let me just finish him off and see what kind of goodies are in store for us. So his mask, obviously. And the staff of Storm Wall. Okay, at least it's sellable. Also got me a chest at the end. And there's also a word wall, so let's get a new shout. This one is... Kind's Peace. And I'm pretty sure that with that I have the whole Kind's Peace shout. Also, I forgot to unlock the slow time one. Okay, so that's now solved. I can just show you how the rest of the shouts are coming along. And let's go into Valthum. This one is just not a dungeon with goodies. There's a quest. So let's go and do it. Basically, a ghost wants help. Leave, stranger. Evil stirs in this place. I fear for the security of the very land if it should break free. What kind of evil, man? We stand at the tomb of Hednorak, who has been dead for many generations. I fear, however, that his return may be at hand. Oh, you're in luck, cause I know how to take care of dragon priests. I have been holding him here. While he regains strength, however, I am fading. By now, I can barely contain his power, much less defeat him if he awakens. But with the help of a living champion, I may be able to succeed. Ah, no worries. I can help. You would do this? Yeah. Three vessels in the tomb below hold the power to vanquish at Norak. Before anything else, we need those. Bring them to me, but be careful, mortal. They are guarded by Hvnorak's minions. They will stop at nothing to see their master return. Yeah, basically just gotta collect three vessels. And then we'll do a ritual or something and... Oh, I can sit in the throne. <laughs> Even though there's a skeleton there. Also, I shouted at the skelly boy, but he doesn't move. It's actually part of the furniture. So into Valthum proper we go. And the first thing that I'm greeted with... Is a ghost of a dragon priest. Okay, we gotta get in there and see if there's anything worth it. <laughs> And through the power of Skyrim Parkour, it's possible. But since every Draugr in the whole place decided to come say hi to the Dragonborn in hopes to get an autograph, I just sent the boys, the Burn Disciples, to take care of them. And they did. So let's see, really, really, just a chest. You used a script of a ghost just to show me a very, very bland chest. But okay, at least watching Havnarak in the form of a ghost was cool and one vessel down. Nice. Now, just to show you how long it takes me to defeat a Death Lord. Yeah, it's much easier than the Dragon Priest before. Just gotta get my Dragon Bone arrows. And why is a Dragon Mace legendary on the floor? Athis? We, we're gonna have to talk. We really have to Good talk. Scott. What is it? If that thing what do you need to take? was dropped by you, I'm gonna drop you. Man. Okay, so that guy is useless. I don't know why he did it. And his days are toast. The only reason I'm not gonna kill him is because I'm the harbinger of the companions. And he's a trainer follower, but other than that, oh, oh, he's lucky that this isn't an evil run. Also, the amount of Death Lords I started to encounter was a bit beyond ridiculous. And right, what's the claw for this one? The Iron Claw. Okay, so just gotta put the same combination in the wall and we're done. One vessel to go. And I'm sure that it's not just going to be standing around without anything to attack me. 
Yeah, exactly. So let's just send the, the Dromoras again. Because they are not permanent summons. Oh, a word wa Why would you do that? Why would you open just to close? I know. I have to defeat everyone, I know. But why did you open then? Ah, oh, Skyrim. So this should be the last guy before the Dragon Priest. Let me just get my arrows. Oh, no, there's another one. Fine. No match at all. Just gonna get my goodies. Damn, that was a lot of Death Lords. And let's see what's in store. Our new shout. Aura Whisper. And, oh. Kavazane's Fang. I know that's for a quest. Don't remember which. You found the vessels. I was worried that I had sent you to your death. Nah, it's fine. Thanks for worrying, though. In life, Hevnorak drained his own blood from his body. His goal was to transfer his power back into himself after death, becoming a powerful lich. The vessels contain that very blood. Empty them, and you remove any chance he has of regaining his former powers. Let's go, let's go, man. Let's do it. Ready as very can be. Well. Empty the vessels into the scots near the throne. Then sit in the throne. When you have done so, I will unbind Havnorak. He will awaken in a weakened state. But the Lich is still to be reckoned with. Be ready. Okay, so I just drop the vessels in the place and then sits on the throne. Are you trying? To summon him, or are we really gonna try and take care of it? You know, I'm I'm not sure if I should trust you, especially with the way that Athis has been acting. It's all very suspicious, but it's also too late to think of that right now. So let's just get on with it. Dramora number two. Instead of repeating that, how about you make the, a sprint? Thank you. Yeah, go attack the thing. Havnorax, gotta go, and it's tanky. Takes a bit of a while, but it's done. In fact, Otar might have been. Otar might have been stronger. Huh. Okay, this mask doesn't have the best power, but at least it's a mask. Time to go back to Valdar and see what he thinks. So, we good, it's done. Thank you, hero. Now, I may finally rest. Take of Norak's iron mask. It may be of use to you, and serve as some reward for your feet here. Well, yeah, the items were pretty good, and I got a 100% the game. Alright, and I should also make more arrows. So let me just spend 10 more dragon bones. 